Hi, everybody. I just wanted to tell you, please don't be offended if you see me walking around with a mask on. I actually don't wear it in the house, but I do wear it outside because our immune system gets so low, we have to be very, very careful. And Lord knows there is so much of this flu going around. I've talked to three people today that have it. My sister's had it. My best friend's had it. Every, my daughter-in-law's got it. Everybody I know has this horrible flu going around. Um, don't hug people. Don't shake their hands. Um, just tell them, say, you know, my immune system's a little low right now, so I'm trying to be very, very careful. I see this sticking up. <laughs> so my immune system's um, very low. So I'm trying to be very careful not to hug people and not to get this flu that's going around. People understand. I actually went to drop off some product today and I had this mask on and I didn't have the lips on though. I just put that on for you. But um, I do wear that out sometimes. But this gentleman turned and looked at me and he said, and I said, how are you today? And he said, I'm great. He said, how are you? And I said, I'm great too. I said, but my immune system's a little low. I said, so I'm really trying to not catch this flu. He said, oh my gosh, I've had it. I gave it to my wife. She had it. She gave it back to me. I gave it back to her. And I'm like, oh Lord, am I glad I had this mask on. So this is just to tell you, Put your mask on. If you don't have one, go to your doctor's office. Ask them to give you some or go to any pharmacy. They'll, they'll have them out there. You can get these masks. Um, but it can be the difference in saving your life or not. I was talking to someone today and she said that she knew someone that went to their church and has breast cancer and she was hugging everybody at church. Well, guess where she is now? She's in the hospital with some... I couldn't even remember the name of the flu, but she has the flu now because she was hugging everybody. I don't hug anybody. I tell everybody, I'm so sorry, my immune system is low, so I'm trying not to hug. And I'm a hugger, so it's killing me. But don't shake hands. And if you do end up shaking hands, or if you do end up doing something, like even going to a restaurant where everybody touches all of the same um, utensils, try and get the sun out of our eyes here. Um, everybody touches the same utensils, have antibacterial soap or um, some type of a wash that you can wash your hands with. Truly, I feel like I have washed my hands more in the past month than I have in my entire life, but I don't care. This is our life we're talking about. You are gonna take care of yourself. You're gonna take your vitamins. You're gonna take everything you can. I take Juice Plus. I do everything I can to make myself as well as I can. And I just wanna share with you everything that I've done because praise God, we're gonna get through this and it's gonna be fine. I've not been sick. Um, I do have my tired moments, but other than that, laying down on the couch, I think I'm doing really, really great. And you know what? What the mind believes it conceives, remember that. So everything, every morning when you get up in the morning, you tell yourself how great you are and get your hair, hair on, get your makeup on, get dressed up and go out and enjoy the day. But stay away from crowds and you know, Anywhere you can go, like I was told by my senior director, get out early in the morning before 9.30 and take about a 20 minute walk. And then she said, um, because she's already gone through cancer, and I may have already told you this, but she said take your shoes and socks off and walk around in the dirt because, you know, in the grass, because it makes you grounded. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So I take my shoes and socks off after my walk. Today I got up, went out, Got about 15 minutes into my walk and it started pouring down rain. So I had to almost run home, but I just walked really, really fast home. Um, but, you know, do whatever you can to get yourself out early in the morning. Give yourself that exercise. Um, a little bit of vitamin D. I said this morning, I said, oh my gosh, I was telling my sisters, I said, there is no sun out here. Instead of vitamin D, I think I'm getting vitamin F. <laughs> but, you know, just do what you can to take care of yourself. So... I hope you follow my plan and I hope you're as healthy and we get through this thing and we're going to look back and say, you know what, because we believed in God, because we believed in ourselves, because we did the right things, we got through this lickety split and praise God, we're going to get a lot of women through this lickety split. So I hope you have a very blessed day. Um, this is Friday night, Friday evening, and Tuesday is my third chemo. So we'll see how number three goes. Praise God, it will be just as good as number one and two. Have a blessed day, ladies. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.